the tutorials and in this video we're going to discuss the basic parts of the computer and before I proceed a little disclaimer kindly forgive me for the background noise our the chickens in our neighbors have a concert today so they're being picked up by the mic <laughs> so let's get started so let's start on the discussion of the basic parts of the computer let's start with the monitor this is used uh, for displaying information followed by the system unit now the system unit it was most of the time mistaken uh, and called as the CPU the system unit consists of several other parts which includes the basic components like the CPU RAM and storage so the next time they they ask you what this thing is you can just tell them that this is not the CPU the CPU is inside the system unit the next is the keyboard. This is used as the input device to enter commands and instructions to the computer. And lastly, we have the mouse, a type of input device to select files, icons, and menus from the screen. Let's discuss each one. Now, starting with the monitor. The monitor is an output device for displaying information from the computer. And you might say, what are those information? This information includes information on files, programs, and in this video, you can see information such as the photos displaying the canoes and menus from Microsoft Windows. Those are some. Next is the system unit. The system unit houses the major parts of the computer, which includes the CPU or the central processing unit. This is the brain of the computer. This is where most cal calculations are being done. Then followed by the RAM. This helps the CPU to perform operations and calculations followed by the hard disk drive or the HDD so the hard disk drive is where your programs and applications are saved or stored okay now to hold the CPU and RAM together they have a motherboard this is where you place the CPU and the RAM and then place inside the system unit this is a required component and to give power to our system unit you would be requiring a power supply unit or the PSU so this gives uh, power to the CPU RAM and hard disk drive to operate now for input devices we have two basic components these are the keyboard and mouse so they are called input devices because their purpose is to enter information to the computer for example a keyboard enters information by providing series of alphanumeric characters and when you say alphanumeric this consists of alphabet or letters and numbers and special characters that you enter as commands to the computer now the mouse provides action commands to the computer in the form of clicks wherein you select an icon from the screen you drag it around and then you perform a special operation like, like a right click or double click to execute a certain command so that wrap, that wraps up our discussion for the basic parts of the computer I hope you enjoy watching this video and hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done already and hit the notification bell to be informed on future updates and videos thank you and so long